Hey guys, welcome back. It is for Towers Films and our 218. Happy Friday, boys and girls. And happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. Happy Friday, everybody. It is recap of Big Brother Canada, season seven, episode number 26. Get out of here. It is now one week away from the finale night, which is a two-hour finale night. Alyssa said so last night mm-hmm. on the show. Listen to the Cox lady. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Pretty One of the pretty boys did fall last night. <laughs> but we will get to that in a moment as to who it is, because when it started, POV had been played, and Mark had gone up in Adam's place. So it was Dean and Mark on the block. And at the time, it really looked like Dan was going to go home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because yeah, really, yeah. if you think about it, it's not the smart thing to do. Let's get rid of Dan. Because really, he's pretty much played the best game this year, really. Without question. Without question, I think um, <laughs> Dan has really shown his intelligence and in how he's played. Oh, yeah. Because he's got a good, he's got a good social game. He's got a good strategic game, and he can win challenges when he needs to. You know, and so he's, he's really well rounded. And you know, I don't think he's pissed off. Uh, and, and, they and, might have now because they know they know what is done. But I think I think they like how he played because yeah. he he wasn't rude about it really. I mean, yeah, maybe he. I don't know, like he bashed people behind their backs. He's, he has Adam a couple of times, but uh, and Kira, um, but not to their face, kind of thing. And now we all know in in the, the scope of the game, a lot of they will do that kind of thing, you know. And then after that, that's when their best friends, kind of thing. And they've all said that that it's kind of the heat of the game, and that they um, get so involved in it oh, that they sure, they sure. just say things that they wouldn't normally say. I get with people on the outside. I mean, you're together 24 seven with no real break. And you just you just want to get away from these people for five minutes. Just hence why sometimes they'll, they'll, they'll hang out the bathrooms to get away from them, like the actual stall. I mean, you know, it's it's the fortress of solitude, the the toilet. You know, like I could have five minutes. Although you're probably still on camera unless you're actually doing something, but. Which is what actually was smart. If you don't want the camera on you, actually pretend to be doing something and then the camera will focus on you. But, you know. Well, like the. the otherwise. Uh, like they've said a few times, don't linger around the showers because it's like. Well, yeah, because a lot that's where a lot of people will chat is yeah. around the showers. And so they, they will film you. Yeah. So even if you're talking about nothing, the you cameras know. will be on you. Like it's funny, some of the times when they've shown extra stuff, they'll show. The camera's focusing in on them, and people be like, "Y'all following me?" <laughs> oh my god! And, you know, I, I'm sorry. I, I think I like the game, but I don't think I could do it being under that kind of microscope. Twenty four seven. Twenty four seven. I just want to get up, have a shower, and peace, and not hear. Mm, and the camera's turning to follow you. <laughs> It's like, for God's sake, I got All bit. I'm doing is washing my hands. Like, <laughs> but if you're the only one up, all cameras yeah. are on you. Because <laughs> you're the only one, only one moving. <laughs> but, the, so, the, the, <laughs> so, Dan started to mark his magic to try to stay in the house. First with Kira. And he knows it was, was going to be tough. Because yeah, he knows be. she's he's her target. Yeah. So, you know, they're out in, like, the hot tub area, and he's like, you know, I understand, it was a good move, you know, but, like, this has been my dream, and, um, you he's, know. He's spun a web of BS. I think part of it might be true, but part of it, obviously, he's, he's going for the sob story, and he's admitted that. Probably he'll play on your emotions, try to get you to do what he wants, and it's very effective, especially with this, this crowd. Um and, uh, I will give him the dude can cry at the drop of a hat. And then turn it off. That's guy should be an actor. Oh. <laughs> I looked at I looked at her yesterday and went 
and the Academy Award for Best Performance in a Dramatic Role is today. Today, Big Brother Canada. <laughs> Here's your Oscar. <laughs> but so you could see she's kind of listening to him because he's like basically playing it that you're gonna have a hard time getting Adam out without my help. Because really, Mark can't win anything. He's won Which, one thing. Anthony's only won one thing. And, you know, you're going to need my help to get rid of him. <laughs> so, it, isn't it better to keep me than Mark, than Mark in the house? And she's kind of thinking, you know, yeah, it's kind of true. It's kind of true. Even though, you know, he's her target. So, he also works on Anthony. And then you see, we got to see a bit of the back story. Remember when they said that they had like a day final two. two and day two that they were working together but we haven't really seen much of that. Well, apparently they did. They showed that when they yeah. actually made the final two. And Anthony said he swore on his mom. He never wrote him out. Um, you know, never put him up. All that. And Dane swore on uh, like the necklace yeah, that he's got. Is, which was his dad. Which is his dad. So I think it's his wedding ring. It looks like his wedding ring, and he swore on that. So they they made that kind of a deal with each other, and now you know they're both pretty close to the, their both parents. Yeah. And Dane basically reminded him of that, saying, "You know, you remember that? I said I swore you I would never put you up. I never vote you out." Anthony's listening, and he goes, "Remember, we were like boys. We said right from the beginning, it'd be us. You know, no matter what happened. But like, yes, yeah, so we've been on yeah. all these sides and." <clears throat> we've had our disagreements through this, but we, we we're the closest here, right from the beginning. He seems to get through to Anthony. He can put him get through to anybody. It's but, oh my god. If, if this, if you know what, the man should go into politics. He <laughs> he could get to believe anything. Like, he could tell you that this, the sky is green and the grass is blue, and you probably believe and you look it. At him and go, mm -hmm. That makes sense. Ah, uh, you're right. I think you're right. Here's a tissue. <laughs> Well, he, he basically, if you wanted to put Kind of shamed him, really, if you think about it. If you wanted to put it into a movie term, he, he called in that marker. Like, right. we set this up. Now my butt's in the crosshairs. I'm calling it in. Right. I, it's up. It, you now have to save me. Right. You know. Because you said you would. <laughs> you said you would. And, and what I think also... <coughs> Was, was an important factor with Anthony's decision was the conversation he had with Mark. And Mark basically told him you're not that my you're not getting my vote if you're in the final two. <laughs> of course, I brought Anthony the wrong way considering how much he has done for Mark. And he basically told Mark, uh, you literally wouldn't be here if it wasn't for me. And you're telling me I don't get your And you're telling me I don't get your phone after all I've done for you? Wow. In this game, I basically tried your butt here. And they kind of know he hasn't been 100% loyal to them all the time. Oh, my God. And, he, and Anthony called him out on that. Yeah. And he's like saying, after, like, you've been kind of shady with us or with me. And what I've done to keep you, you wouldn't give me your vote. Really? Cute Mark's bag being packed. <laughs> so Mark's kind of realizing that maybe he shouldn't have said such a silly thing. <laughs> you know, just saying, maybe he thought that that would keep him there because, you know, I got my vote anyway, so I may as well keep you kind of thing. But Anthony doesn't work that way. He's very loyalty based kind of thing, and he, and he sees it as a disrespect to his loyalty. Hmm. So, yeah, that kind of very well with him. Oh, and he's easy to become, it's easy for him to feel slighted. Oh, yeah. And yeah. By yeah, Mark, it is. By Mark saying, you know it's what? It's touching. You know what, my man? You're here at the end. I am voting for you. Right. I got to throw it to the, I got to throw it to Adam or Dane. You know what, though? I don't blame him because I wouldn't either. Yeah. I wouldn't either. Yeah. I mean, Mark knows what Anthony's done. Yeah. Yes, he's a good talker. Yes. He's able to sway, but a lot of the plans were not his. They were Dan's and Adam's, really. I mean, from what we've seen. So I think Anthony's got really this big inflated that sense of what he's more. done. Then he he hasn't done as much as he thinks he has. Yeah, so, exactly. you know, so I think I, I don't. I think it was a stupid time for Mark to say that, but I also kind of agree with him and I don't blame him for saying yeah. it. 
maybe he sensed that the tides were kind of turning a little bit against him that way, you know? So basically, that that helped. So Anthony went and talked to Kira. Yeah. And because now Dane's been in his ear, and now that the conversation he had with Mark, they That's start it. talking. Yeah. And so Dane says to her, Anthony says to Dane before he goes to talk to Kira, okay, I will give you my vote, or I will keep you. Because I said it would, and I'm a man of my word, and loyalty, I mean, what, what's good is saying you're loyal if you don't prove you're loyal, because then everything what you just said goes out the window. Exactly. Um, so he said that I'm going to vote keep you, because I said I would. But now we got to convince Kira that it's her idea, so that it doesn't backfire on them, because so she less, really wants to stay out. More or less, you can say to me. We really have to sell this. Yeah, and Anthony says he'll have to like try to get to say, or maybe talk to Anthony and all that kind of stuff. So Dan went up and was talking to her and said, you know, what about what about this? What about this? Um, you know, you know, you can't get rid of Adam without me. All this kind of stuff. And she was thinking about it, and so and you can see that he's convincing her. And that Mark's not going to be what never has been loyal to you. Yes, I put you up three times, but that's only because we weren't always working together. You know, that's why. It's not because I disliked you. It's we were on opposite sides. That's all it is. I cue the tears. And of course, yeah, that was my dream. You know, all that kind of stuff. So, and then she's feeling really bad. She says to him, you know, good, how are you? Um, That... <laughs> she says to him that I think you deserve to be here and it kind of hurts me that I'm I'm trying to vote you out so you can see that she really doesn't want to vote him out you know? okay. and so at this point they're thinking you know okay and she's like I can help you I, I can, can help, help you. you you know he's got her at that point oh. and so she goes maybe if we can get Anthony on board you wouldn't have to worry about it being a one-one, even though she was. Even if it's a one-one, it's a tie. I'm the tiebreaker. So Anthony, and Dane's like, oh, you know, you can save my, you save me, you save me, kind of thing. So they bring up Anthony, and Anthony had said before, it, it's kind of what kind of started dropping the um, kind of idea in Kara's head. It's so basically, so what if Mark goes? You know, this is just between you this and is just I. between you and I. This is what Mark has said, and so like, what really? More or less, they're now trying to put the blame on putting get like the idea to get rid of Sam, get rid of her was so basically Mark's, Mark's idea. <laughs> you know, to put like to put that to Corey's head and everything was all Mark's idea. So she's like, really? And they're like, yeah. And so it's like. Okay, well, maybe you know this makes this sense. makes sense. Make that, sense. And even Anthony said, you know, Mark won't be loyal to you. He hasn't really won much. You know, the the guy's a marine, Adam. Um, he's gonna be hard to get out, kind of thing. And he does. It, well, we have a better shot at getting him out than that Mark does. All that kind of stuff. He can't win against him. He has too many friends in the jury. All that. So. They basically convince Kira, okay, let's get rid of Mark instead. So Anthony tells Mark because he feels he owes it to him that yeah. I'm voting you out. Yeah. So he didn't pull any punches. He oh no, because he, he he said he felt I owe it to you to tell you straight up and why. And um, so Mark got to it. So he tried one last ditch effort to get Kira to keep him, yeah. saying, like you said before. You know, you're not going to win against Adam or Dane. You have more, your best so shots against me. 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 It's probably true. Um, he's really not lying about that. It's probably true. Um, and he goes, I know that we've been kind of oh, no, at honest. odds. And I know I've been always been honest with you and stuff. But really, if you keep me, it. I have a better shot at taking the other ones out. And, and you have a better shot at winning. It doesn't convince her. So. She's like, yeah. <laughs> you know. But so, but her thinking, and she says to him, that her best shot of getting rid of Adam is to keep Dane. 
which is also a problem too, <laughs> depending on if Dan is more well to Adam or Anthony. That remains to be seen at this point. We'll see. Actually, any of their best shots of winning is actually to keep Kira to the end, really, because yeah. all three of them, maybe not so much Anthony, but especially Dane yeah. and Adam, they're going to have a hard time winning. It would be a crapshoot, I think, because they both have done a lot, really. Adam's got quite a few people in the jury that liked him. Dane does, too. Dane's done a lot, and I think personally, I think he's the one who deserves to win it, but... Um, if they want to guarantee, I think they should take Kira. Oh, sure. Any of them left in the game. If they're smart enough, if they, they forget this whole loyalty to the pretty boys thing, if they want to make sure they will win, that's who they should be taking. But we'll see what happens. So we get to... While all this is going on, they... they oh, uh, went to the jury house. Went to the jury house. Yes. <laughs> Excuse me. First shot of seeing the jury house. And of course, Sam's there by herself. She's like dancing around. Welcome to my house. And she's like, you know, this has been great for me. Able to decompress. Because, like she says, you know, when you first get out of house, you're bitter, you know, drawn, you know, all that. And it gives you time to decompress, think about things. And so you saw people kind of like. (laughs) We saw Corey come first. And Corey. And she's like, um, you're gonna be, you're gonna basically gonna give me the biggest. I told you so. (laughs) And they're like, yeah, they'll. Pretty boy lines, you know. And then SD comes in, and she's like saying she hopes they don't wish she's next, but they kind of do, really, if you think about it. Um, SD targeted Sam pretty much from day one, so why wouldn't she want you next? And so, the biggest shock was with was they, Damien. Well, they knew there was a double eviction coming up, so they, I think they hoped it wasn't Damien, but I don't think they were surprised. So they all get together and they're going to talking about it. And, Talking about the whole poor guy alliance and from the beginning. So it's, it, you, you can see they're all comparing notes. And, yeah. But uh, they got along really well. Yeah. Right? Well, they do in the house. Yeah. Right? So um, as that's gone on, it jumps back to it's time to vote. It's time to vote. So they, they all get their time to <laughs> say their piece. Although she didn't give them a lot of time, I found. Like, it, like, you know how other times they'll, they'll talk to them for a bit and ask, you know, how was this week? What was that? What are you thinking? She didn't give right them the chance it. to do that. Maybe because it showed the jury house this week. That could be. They might have been tight for time. Yeah. Well, because they're showing a lot of the, the finagling and the negotiating and stuff. So they didn't really get a lot of chance to talk yeah. to, to them like they normally do. So they went right into the boat, basically. And, of course, no surprise, two nothing and they evicted Mark. But, but, oh, it was so good. As he's going out, he goes up the stairs, and then he goes, hey, Adam, you know the plan to, to give Corey to backdoor Sam? That was Dane's idea. <laughs> he's like, oh, snap. Just as he was going, he dropped the one bomb off the ledge. <laughs> it does the look on Adam's face. <laughs> he was like shocked. He's like, oh, snap. That was, that was so, it was classic. That was <laughs> Last party shot. As, as <laughs> that was so funny. And, you know, he, when he sat down with the rest of it, he took it, you know, he took it well. It's a yeah, game. It's a game. You know, and uh, they all have their messages too. Oh, well, even now, Russ has said to him with, with the party shot to Adam, and he's like, that was from Canada. Oh, you did. And especially you. And especially you, the audience. To you and you, especially you. But <laughs> that was funny. Out of all of them that have been convicted, he took the best, I think. I think Sam took it pretty well, too. Um, I mean, it's good when you keep the aspect that it's a game. It's like, you game. keep that perspective. That it's not yeah. personal, it's a game. They all love them. They all care. They're all friends. But it's a game, and somebody only one person wins it. Yeah. And you really can't take the person. I know it's difficult to do that, especially for a lot of people who are really sensitive. Yeah. But you really do have to think it's a game and yeah. keep that in your mind. And even once, like Dan from the American Big Brother, Will, you gotta check who, it who have played it, 
really as I say emotional as and they're not like that in real life, but they said it can be difficult because you do end up becoming friends and you care about their feelings, you don't want to hurt their feelings. But you know, only one person wins this game and you have to play cutthroat in a way. I mean you have to cut your friends. You have to and it, it that's what you do. I mean I mean they had no choice. I mean, one of them had to go. Even even if Kira was gone, they still have to cut each other. So I mean that's the thing. there's only two in the finale, so you know, I mean, that's why you cannot take it personally. You just can't. And you know, it's hard to do, yes. But that's kind of how you have to think of it. Like if you're playing the same Monopoly, you, you're not going to necessarily get personally involved with people bankrupt you in the game. It's not because they they, they hate your guts. It's uh, how the game's played. You know, <laughs> well, it's true. Nice analogy. <laughs> well, it's kind of true, right? True. <laughs> you know? um, he got his goodbye messages. Yeah. You know, um, <laughs> and he sucks. Uh, They're all really good messages. That was good. And, you know, so. and he's off to the house. Uh, I can't wait to see if they show him showing. I up. think they will. They usually do. Yeah. They usually do to show when they when the next people come into the Tory house. Yeah, well, they will. It was a good episode. It was a good episode. It was actually I actually was pretty certain. Maybe you guys agree with me. The Dane was gone. <laughs> yeah, like it was that exactly way. what it looked like. And and it, if you think about it, he's that was their best move. If you think about it, if for, for any of them to win, now, like, if Dan was gone, personally, I think the one who had the best chance would be Adam at that point. Um, because he's, to me, has played the second best game. Yeah. Anthony, I don't think he's really done much. Yes, he's a good talker, but I don't think he's done that much. And Mark's pretty much done nothing. So, really, you, <laughs> really, I'll face it. He had a summer off, and he got paid to... Summer? Spring. We're in Canada. We don't we're have in spring. We're, we're in May now. <laughs> we're in May. But, we don't have spring. We go right in the summer here. <laughs> well, he had a spring where he basically got to lay around. I know. And the boys brought him along. I mean, really, that's what happened. And he got paid for it. Let's face it. He seems like a nice guy. Don't get me wrong. I mean, that time he helped Corey on the one of the challenges, stuff like that. You can see he has a pretty good heart, but he did nothing to really. Let's face it, he voted with them. Yeah. Anthony, kind of, didn't thing. do much either. I mean, I think you, you, I think you think you did more than you did. You know, sorry, and I think you're a little too arrogant. So <laughs> maybe you're not like that in real life. You know, he may not be a lot of them or not, no. but mm, and Adam. I do like Adam, but sometimes you're annoying. <laughs> you know? I do like Adam. I wouldn't mind if either Dan or Adam won it. I think both of them earned it, personally. personally. I do like Kira, but um, I don't think she's earned it. I think Dan and Adam have earned it. So I think one of them should win it. <laughs> so next Thursday is the is, is final episode. So Sunday is HOH. And then next Wednesday is a special. Is the Awards. can awards so that will be a really good show. that will be a good show. and probably the final POV too yeah. and it's actually a special eviction episode because then it'll be down to the final three yeah. so that'll be interesting so we've, we've got a week of good stuff coming up as we go into the finale week of BB Canada so stick with us and we will keep we'll be right there with you watching and recapping it if you like, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button, bell, so you know when we upload. Don't have much time left for BB Canada. Do it. Do it now. <laughs> don't forget, I upload. Don't worry, I do other shows besides BB Canada. She does. Do Survivor, do. Amazing Race Master Chef Canada, and once BB US stars, I'll be doing that. We'll be doing that too. So. But that'll be, I think, in June. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. See you on Sunday. Bye. Bye.